Max is looking quite strong and a really good uh, car, so I think um, having seen them one in the last race, you can only assume they're going to be right there, if not at the front at the, uh, the first race, and it's going to be a great long battle with them through the year. I had positive feelings in the car, um, but uh, we'll find out in Q3 for the first race weekend where we are. You know, that's where we, we can judge our performance, but from the test so far, it's been, it's been a good... By nearly four tenths of a second, Max Verstappen, he's on pole for the opening race of the season. Oh, finally, mate. That lap was good. <laughs> a great job, guys. And it's lights out and away we go. Hamilton tucks in behind the Rebel and Leclerc already alongside Valtteri Bottas. Hamilton goes into turn one behind Max Verstappen. Hard tyres going on to Lewis Hamilton's Mercedes. They've not got any new sets of mediums. No, they haven't. Verstappen will need a great lap and then hit at the end of the lap. Max Verstappen is not going to like this, I'm sure, as he sees Lewis Hamilton now disappearing through turn one. Mercedes switching the strategies. Hamilton crosses the start-finish line and Max Verstappen makes his way out of the pits. It is game on. Really, it was, it was so tough. Super happy with a race like this. This is epic. And he's locked up into 10, he's gone wide. That is exactly what Max Verstappen and Red Bull would want to see as the gap now comes down to just one second. Here he comes. It's Max Verstappen coming his way. Hamilton moves to the middle of the track, forces Verstappen wider at turn one and positions that Mercedes beautifully as they head towards turn four. Hamilton's going to force Verstappen the long way round. By the time they get to the corner, he's about a third of a car in front. By the time they get out of the corner, Max Verstappen is ahead of Lewis Hamilton. So we'll take on the outside of the track. Uh, Verstappen has just been told to let you through. And three laps remaining. OK, for the moment, let it Lewis through. He's given it back because he took the position off the racetrack. This is the second DRS zone. There's one more to come after this. Hamilton is quite comfortable, I think, with Verstappen this far behind. Sir Lewis Hamilton, as he is now, wins the Bahrain Grand Prix. Get in there, Lewis. What a job, mate. What a race. Still got it, Bono. Yeah, not bad for an old man. so happy i really really am absolutely over the moon just to see the the response from the team i was not expecting that we'd be in that position be able to keep up with them in the first stint and stuff so i I was really grateful for it uh it's what it is but in a way i mean of course i'm i'm disappointed about today but last year we'll be super happy with a race like this so it also shows how much we have grown and i think uh it's a it's still a positive start to the season 
and uh, it's still a long season ahead. Proving at the moment, you'd think, to challenge pole position. Uh, Hamilton is within touching distance. Max Verstappen was still waiting to see go through the first sector as Hamilton crosses the line and blitzes the final sector. As Verstappen crosses the line and Perez out qualifies Verstappen. Hamilton is on pole. It's lights out and away we go. Verstappen gets an excellent reaction. Hamilton, though, is ahead of Perez, but not for long, as Max Verstappen now on the inside joins Hamilton in battle. It is Hamilton and Verstappen. Verstappen and Hamilton wheel to wheel going into the field of the Tamburillo chicane. Hamilton is forced wide and he's lost a little bit of bodywork as well. Verstappen leads the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. And he's right on his tail. And I wonder, is Hamilton going to have a little go if he can into the chicane? They came together on the opening lap. This time around, Hamilton is just a little too far. They sit impassively looking at their monitors. There was never any doubt that they were going to keep Lewis Hamilton out. Verstappen first to blink. This one needs to be perfect, Mercedes, but they know that. He's very slow into the box, very steady, a little slow. It was a bit slower than it should have been. It was four seconds, Martin. Ah. Yeah. Verstappen, he was quick in the middle sector. Well, everyone has been lapped so far by the race leader, down to Valtteri Bottas. Oh, and sliding off the road goes the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton. Oh, And Lewis. I think this is absolute disaster for Lewis Hamilton. Okay, Lewis, let us know if you get it moving. Okay. So sorry, guys. Yeah, no sweat. Safety car, safety car. Be boxing. So keep the delta positive. We're going to get a safety car now because that's Valtteri Bottas and George Russell. After the red flag, we can go racing again. And it is Lewis Hamilton. And is this what Hamilton needs to blast past that Ferrari? Lewis Hamilton is back up into the podium places. And once again, Norris makes him go the long way round, but Hamilton was close enough, under braking, and he does move himself up into second place. Max Verstappen, for the first time in his career, takes victory in Italy, and it was a victory by a long, long margin. It was all looking good, then Lewis went off the tracks. So I thought, OK, well, that's going to be easy to cruise home. But then, of course, we had the big crash with the red flag. Max did a fantastic job today, so congratulations to him. I oh, had some really good pace in the, in the rain and I was catching, but just a little bit impatient maybe. It's so tricky out there with cold tyres, you know, even in the wet. And it's lights out and away we go. Bottas and Hamilton both getting it away well. Perez not the best start and he's already got the Ferrari alongside him and ahead as Bottas goes into turn one in the lead from Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen. And there is Kimi Raikkonen who has lost half of his front wing. I wonder if we're going to need some kind of safety car. Hamilton and Verstappen behind him. Hamilton trying to pull out of the slipstream that Max Verstappen's getting behind him. Verstappen goes into turn one ahead of Hamilton. Max Verstappen coming out of turn 14. Is that going to give Lewis Hamilton a little bit of impetus, I wonder, because Hamilton is within striking distance of the Red Bull down the straight. Here comes Hamilton on Max Verstappen. Hamilton retakes that second place. Hamilton's got DRS. He's within touching distance of his teammate. He's ahead. Valtteri Bottas. Max Verstappen make the first pit stop of the top three runners. To give Valtteri a real fighting chance. That's sweet. That's not so bad. It was enough of a gap that Bottas had over Verstappen to get into the pits and out ahead. Look at that, sliding like crazy as Valtteri Bottas trying to get the power down. And immediately then, Verstappen has a run at the inside, down into turn five. He's got all the track position he needs. First three Portuguese Grand Prix won by Racing Knights. And Sir Lewis Hamilton's been night and day. He wins the Portuguese Grand Prix.
Yeah, I think overall we just lacked a little bit of pace compared to them in the race. Um, we knew last year already we were not that particularly strong here. Um, I think this weekend has been a little bit better, but still not good enough. I was quick behind Valtteri and it's feeling quite strong. And I thought that at that point in early early parts of the race that I had the pace to potentially get by. But then safety car, then I lost out to Max at the restart, which was uh, which was a mistake from my side. But I don't feel bad about it, actually, because I fixed it. Slight sound and away we go. And I think Verstappen got a slightly better start than Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton is just leading ahead then of Max Verstappen on the inside. As Verstappen goes into turn one and goes past the Mercedes. Verstappen pits. The Mercedes have opted to carry on as Verstappen pits. Try to start to drop. Coffee. All the ties are here, unlike the Red Bull situation. The team nice and early. Hamilton gets a clean entry into his pit box. No problems here, all the way on Jack. That's a super stop. Red Bull think they're safe in this pit stop to the threat of Mercedes, and they are. Oh, it's just sitting my death so much more quick. Okay, this box opposite the stack. Oh, he's pitting. Oh, he's pitting. Mercedes committing then to the two-stop strategy and pitting right now. Currently 22 seconds. We've done it before. Could be Hungary all over again here. Hungary 2019, where they've caught them unawares. Oh, I don't see how we're going to take it to the end. Don't hold Lewis up. No, no he's going to no, turn it's in. Not. Whoa! He was not willing there at all, was he? We're looking behind me, trying to keep up with him in his face. And I'm my tires, so what do you want me to do? Verstappen is struggling here. Hamilton is right on his tail. Hamilton goes round the outside at turn one, and the charge is complete. And it's the chequered flag as the winner of the Spanish Grand Prix for Lewis Hamilton, who strengthens his grip then at the top of the table. Lewis, perfect combination, great, great strategy and bold and great, great driving. Congratulations. Yes, that's it. That's you. Uh, no, I mean, once you, he made that second stop, I knew that I could not pit again. Um, of course, then he passed me in the end of the race, and then I was, uh, we were like, okay, let's go for the fast lap, um, which worked out this time. Um, but yeah, it's it's tough, you know, when you're up there in the front and the two Mercedes cars are behind you again, and yeah, they they basically can choose their strategy. We just focused on trying to get as close as I could, which was very difficult, and make the tyres last at the same time. Um, but I think tyre management was really was really nice. So I'm really proud of that and fantastic effort with a uh, fantastic job by the team with strategy. And fans, media alike are absolutely loving the fight between you and Lewis Hamilton. Is it as much fun out there on the track as it is to watch? It's all right, but I wish it was a bit closer because I felt a bit powerless today. I mean, honestly, I love it. Um, I'm really enjoying the battle with him. He's, we're learning a lot about, uh, about one another and each other's cars, I'm sure, and the way we battle and um, no, turn one is always exciting between us. So, uh, but there's there's good respect there, and um, long may it continue. Thanks very much, Max. On to Monaco. Monaco, uh, it's going to be a tough one. You know you've been on my mind. It's lights out, and away we go. Bottas got away well. Verstappen comes over to cover him and does cover off the Mercedes into Sandoval. It's Verstappen from Bottas. Then comes Sainz and then comes Norris. After Norris, Pierre Gasly, then Lewis Hamilton. And look at this then. So Hamilton out behind uh, Gasly. How am I still behind him, man? Come on. Vettel reacting then and has that inside line as they come through Sandovot. Vettel, is he ahead of Gasly? They're going to go wheel to wheel up Beau Rivage here. What 
does this happen, guys? It's not too basic. Yeah, copy loose. Sergio Perez making his way down the pit lane. He has got himself up into fourth place. Oh, I don't understand, guys. I saved the tyres to go longer. You made me stop before it. But... It's his first win in Monaco. Max Verstappen leads the World Championship and wins the Monaco Grand Prix. <laughs> yes, well done. I think we managed that really well, guys. Oh, super happy. <laughs> Five lights on ahead of the drivers. It's lights out and away we go. And Leclerc gets away well ahead of Hamilton and Verstappen. He's got the start, he's got the pole, and he's got away from Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton's got the toe, he's got the slipstream. He doesn't need DRS and he makes the pass to take the lead of this race. Massive pressure from Max Verstappen. He's had to wait a few laps to get past the Ferrari. It's happened now. Hamilton comes in, Verstappen and Perez stay out. Hamilton, oh, it's a wait. slow stop again, but he had to wait for the other car. Max Verstappen is away and he is going to be ahead of Lewis Hamilton. That's the crucial thing here. Hamilton's slow stop has cost him track position after the pit stop to Max Verstappen. As you see, Max Verstappen going into turn one. Where's Hamilton now? Verstappen is ahead. Sergio Perez behind his teammate. Hamilton behind now. Both Red Bulls. Verstappen leading this race, now out of this race. Sergio Perez leads from Lewis Hamilton. Tyre. Ignition P0, please, Max. Ignition P0. Very disappointing. So close to the, to the finish to retire. Yeah, it's a big shame. Sometimes um, you can hate the sport. So that is going to be... That tyre failure by the look of it for Verstappen. Is that tyre failure from a punch, you think, or just wear? Uh, it's uh, difficult to say whether it's a wear or damage. Yeah, shame because we missed out on an opportunity to make the gap bigger because when we, we get to normal tracks, Mercedes normally are very strong. You've got to remember that this is a marathon, not a sprint, so... How aggressive we go. Brakes smoking on Lewis Hamilton's car. <laughs> Perez gets away well. Hamilton will wheel spin. <laughs> Perez tries to cut off Hamilton. Oh! Who locks up and goes straight on? And Hamilton has gone from second in the race to falling out of the points. Oh, so sorry, guys. Yeah, don't sweat it, Lewis. Don't sweat it. Sergio Perez wins the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Now, oh, Lewis, if we can have a P0, if you're still saying that. Did I have magic on? Uh, yeah, but yeah, just knock that on. I could have sworn I turned it off. Uh, yeah, you did, uh, but knocked it on. It's uh, really painful. I'm really sorry to the team. All I can do is just try and rebuild. You know, I think I gave absolutely everything I could today. It's lights out and away we go. Verstappen leading them then down towards turn one from Hamilton, from Bottas, who just has to back off a bit. And Verstappen goes off the track and that gives the lead to Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton has to now get his foot down to watch out for the undercut. Verstappen making his way around turn 12. Very neat change there. Hamilton comes out. Is he ahead of Max Verstappen? No, he is not. Verstappen goes past Lewis Hamilton and with one and a bit laps to go, Verstappen retakes the lead of the French Grand Prix. Simply lovely. Come on, mate. He's so fast on the straight. 
Max Verstappen rounds the final corner and he wins the French Grand Prix. Underlyingly, they were just much quicker than us this weekend. We're losing three and a half tenths just in the straight line. So you saw him fly past me down the straight. There was nothing I could do to keep him behind. It is back-to-back -back poles for Max Verstappen, who starts the Styrian Grand Prix on top. It slides out and away we go. Verstappen gets the better start. Verstappen leads them then into turn one from Hamilton on the inside. Oh, that so nearly went round, Lewis. Max Verstappen he wins the Styrian Grand Prix. Just impossible to, to match them. Impressive speeds. I don't know where they've improved their car. It's taken a pretty big leap. Um, I mean, I guess in, in certain scenarios, you just kind of... Oh, I'm still pushing. I'm still giving it everything I've got. Just, just, it's just not quick enough. So um, there's only a certain distance, uh, a certain amount that you can extract more out of the car. So um, we just got to keep our heads down. Just keep giving up, uh, keep pushing and, and not giving up. No, he can't. It's only fourth fastest for Lewis Hamilton as Verstappen taking pole. And it's lights out and away we go. It's Verstappen ahead of Norris, Perez, and then comes Bottas and Hamilton. Sergio Perez now, turn four, trying to go the long way round the outside. His duel continues with Lando Norris as he now goes on to the gravel. Lando Norris in second place at the moment, under pressure from Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton is going to dive down the inside at turn four. So Lewis has damage. That's where Hamilton might have got his damage. You don't want to go across those sausage curves too often. Valtteri Bottas on the inside of Lewis Hamilton moves up into second place. Here comes Norris again. This time it's the inside at turn six. Lando Norris has got Lewis Hamilton. Max Verstappen wins the Austrian Grand Prix. Lost a lot of ground over these last four races, so it's been pretty painful. Yeah, I think it's it's going to be a tough one. The the Red Bull's been so strong in these past uh, races, and also the the new format this weekend maybe throws a spanner in the works and. You know, if we can get that right, that could uh, bode well for us. He is going. Oh, oh, a lot of overstay there. Hamilton gets to the line and can't improve. Has he? Second time round, made it count and saved a bit of performance. Crosses the line. It's second for Verstappen. Yeah! Yeah! Get in there, Lewis. Get in there. <laughs> Crack it, John, guys. It is what it is. I mean, uh, we're still quite close, so uh, it's it's all right. For the sprint, it's lights out, and away we go. And I think Verstappen got a better start than Lewis Hamilton, and he's already ahead. Valtteri Bottas is trying to pressure his teammate as well, but Verstappen in the turn one ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Now he's trying to break the slipstream into Brooklyn's corner. Hamilton will not get around the outside there. <laughs> Hamilton try and get back ahead of Max Verstappen and he's trying to get a slipstream as well. Hamilton's going to try and dance around the outside. Verstappen stays ahead. For the fourth race in a row in 2021, Verstappen's going to be on pole to take the sprint on this Saturday and three championship points. Yeah, well, you know, naturally it's, 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 uh, it's not been the best day for us, but, you know, the support of the fans, you know, just the parade lap we just did there. The roar of the crowd is just magnificent. So um, I'll, I'll recharge tonight and come back stronger tomorrow. There's definitely things that we've learned from today, and I hope that we can improve for tomorrow. And uh, I'll be giving everything for the for for everyone that turns up tomorrow, and, and uh, hope that we can have a closer race than we had today. Lights out and away we go. Once again, Max Verstappen gets a decent start. Hamilton is right with it. Verstappen's ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Verstappen's going to have to weave like crazy. Hamilton got a better drive off the loop. He will be faster. Then they almost touch. They go into Brooklyn's. Verstappen stays ahead. The crowd roar their approval for this. 
Middleton's going to try again this time on the inside. The continent touch. Maxi, okay. I got damage. We're ready for you in the box. Go safety car, safety car, keep the delta positive. Oh, oh. 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 That's the sight I did want to see. Max Verstappen getting out of the car. Michael, have you got a minute? Hello. Yeah, Michael, look, that corner, he was never anywhere near alongside. Every driver that's driven at this circuit knows you do not stick a wheel up the inside at Cops. You know, that's an enormous accident. And it was 100% Max's corner. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, full blame lays on Hamilton. Uh, definitely like left wing or something. I was ahead going in there, man. Yeah, copy Lewis. Fully alongside, it's my line. Michael, this is Toto. Go ahead, Toto. Uh, Michael, I just send you an email um, with the diagrams where the car should be. Did you receive that? I don't uh, access my emails during a race deliberately because I concentrate on the race. Uh, yeah, then you should maybe look at this because there is something with the rules I'm coming up. Toto, go, feel free to go upstairs and see the stewards directly. I have a chance to look at that footage. Lewis was significantly alongside on the inside of turn nine. I've watched this replay several times now, Michael. That corner there, Michael, that's not a place to take a wheel on the inside of a car. Yeah, you turned in on me, man. Yeah, copy that, Lucio. Just reviewed the video. You could have had a massive, you know, accident. Thank God he's walked away unscathed. So I hope you're going to deal with it appropriately. No, understood, Christian. That's why it's just gone up now that things have calmed down for a second as under investigation by the stewards. Lights out, and away we go. Even Stevens for the front two. The Charles Leclerc leads them into Abbey from Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton has a 10-second time penalty for causing a collision. He's just standing by the mechanics. He's started his stopwatch, as the great Murray Walker would say. He's having a look at it. There you go. He's tapped the guy with the big uh, orange banner. So here goes Lewis Hamilton, and he makes the move. In Hamilton, back up into the podium places. OK, Valtteri. We invert the cars into turn 15 this lap. Lewis Hamilton uh, up in the second place in this race. Hamilton was three tenths quicker. The gap is now less than one and a half seconds. Here goes Hamilton on lap 50. Oh, and he tries to get past Leclerc and goes off the track. Has Hamilton gone through? Yes, he has. He's chased down the prancing horse. He chases the checkered flag. He wins the British Grand Prix. And Hamilton is back in the championship hunt. Please, we never give up. We never give up. This is still on. Damn right. So, so, damn right. I want to say a big thank you to all the fans here. Woo! Couldn't do it without you guys. I don't have, I don't have any uh, issues. I mean, yeah, I don't know really what we we'll to say. Just uh, game on. We're just going to keep on being, keep on attacking. There needs to be respect on the track, and if if not, then this will happen more often, I guess. But uh, I tried my hardest to to stay, you know, as clean as possible. Hamilton is a long way down. Verstappen has now set a personal best. Verstappen can do nothing to stop him on this Saturday afternoon. It's a Mercedes front row lockout. Hamilton and Bottas. Now, look, I've got a question for both you and Lewis now. Um, there's been a lot of talk about what happened on the opening lap at Silverstone. If you two end up wheel to wheel after the start tomorrow. Now, can we just already stop about this? Because it's we had so many f questions about this. It's just ridiculous, honestly. I, Honestly, the whole Thursday, we've been answering this all the time. 
So can we just stop about it, please? Okay. We are racers. We will race. And of course, we're going to race hard, but fair. So okay. we just hard, keep pushing okay. each other. Um, Lewis, anything from you? Lights out and away we go. And Hamilton does get away very well indeed. Bottas doesn't. Verstappen's already nearly alongside him. And there's Lando Norris touch. And into each other goes Valtteri Bottas and Sergio Perez and Max Verstappen. We've seen it, Max. Take my car. Hey, what the f happened there? Yeah, Max Verstappen has got caught out with that. We are stopping this race while the marshals can clear the debris, the damage you can see on car number 33. And look how dry the track seems to be. The race leader is the only driver who's not come into the pit lane to change tyres. It's going to be lights out and away we go for Lewis Hamilton only. Now he can race full blast. Esteban Ocon takes the lead. Sebastian Vettel goes through when Hamilton comes out into this race. Max Verstappen, his title rival's gone through. Verstappen trying to go around the outside of Mick Schumacher. Verstappen goes off the road. Schumacher stays ahead. Hamilton can't get past Gasly. Now Verstappen's going to go and try around the outside of turn two. He's got the pace advantage. Schumacher's got the inside line. They bang wheels as Verstappen goes through turn three. Into the pits, though, comes Lewis Hamilton to put Lewis on a different strategy here to try back into this race again. But now getting a bit of track position is what they want. And here comes Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton's going to get past Max Verstappen and the undercut has worked now Hamilton forces Alonso Hamilton trying to go around the outside here in a turn two does break later this time not late enough turn four this time he's alongside and I think they might have touched there as well Hamilton had to back out of it this is incredible nice he just moved over on me, man. Come on. Comes Hamilton. He just backed off a little bit too early, but Alonso has locked up. And Hamilton is now released from behind the Alpine. Hamilton is so much closer. But Sainz has got DRS. Hamilton has got the pace advantage. Sainz is going to fight this one back. It is Ocon. It is Vettel. It is Hamilton, the top three. Ocon wins the Hungarian Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton from 14th comes back to finish on the podiums. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, it's of course not what I want, but you can see Valtteri uh, just completely misses his breaking point and causes a big crash. So from there onwards, uh, yeah, I just um, I had no right-hand side of the car anymore. It was all gone, so uh, the car was just extremely uh, difficult to drive. And of course, I gave it uh, all I had, and uh, at least we, we could take one point. It's better than, uh, than, than nothing, but... Yeah, the, the last two races haven't uh, gone our, our way and uh, it was of course not our fault, but yeah, we um, just need to keep, you know, being focused, uh, try to forget about it and just look ahead and uh, try to improve. Now, Lewis Hamilton will be next to cross the line. He can't deny George Russell here in Spa this afternoon. Verstappen has had an excellent middle sector, he can. It's the charge to the line for Max Verstappen. It's going to come up quickly. Yes, it is. The Dutch fans cheer that one. But they'll be celebrating in the Red Bull garage. Yes. <laughs> that is simply lovely. After a wait of about three hours, can leave the pit lane. When you've done more than two laps, then you get half points. With two laps, two full laps completed, Race control has now decided it is time to go back to the pit lane again because conditions haven't improved. The race will not resume. Max Verstappen wins the Belgian Grand Prix. I love racing and, and obviously in the, in the rain and today was just hardcore conditions and um, somebody would have got hurt if we had started the race. Unfortunately, still got points though for a race that wasn't a race. Is that something in the fact that you've managed to limit the damage to Max today? 
No, I haven't delivered anything to Max today. You I've limited lost... the damage, sorry. Uh, not really. I'd... It, it should just shouldn't have been that way. It's, you know, when they stopped the race at the beginning, um, the rain didn't change from in those two hours, and they still sent us out. So there's only one reason they've done that, and that's you know, it's, it's a whole money thing. So. Verstappen's on pole here in Zandvoort. Can Hamilton deny Max Verstappen? Hamilton is alongside Max Verstappen on the front row. But the celebrations here in Zandvoort for the home favourite, Max Verstappen. <laughs> yes, guys, unbelievable. What a great part today where we're just flying. It's lights out and away we go. Pretty even start from the front two. Verstappen does move over to cut off Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton uh, for his first stop of the race. Max is going to react. That's yeah. all he has to do today, just cover Lewis. This is the race win for Verstappen or, or for Hamilton, or is it for Bottas? If he's going longer on a one-stop, Max Verstappen has caught Valtteri Bottas. Because with DRS, there he goes. Now, going offline is Valtteri Bottas to let Lewis Hamilton through. Double Dutch delight for Max Verstappen, who crosses the line to win the Dutch Grand Prix. The crucial thing for Hamilton is, it, can he get the fastest lap of the race on the last lap of the race? And he does. He wins that extra point. Well done, mate. That was epic. Enjoy this lap and enjoy the podium. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Great job, guys. This weekend has been, uh, has been great. It was a good one. I mean... Uh... You know, with all the with all the people, all the fans here supporting you, um, it was just an incredible side. Take the lead of the drivers' championship. You must be pleased. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's still very tight, you know. And uh, next week is going to be uh, again a very important race for us. Monza has never been our strong point, um, but uh, let's see what we can do. Verstappen crosses the line, can't improve. Bottas can though. He leads qualifying here at Monza. Hamilton has he got enough to try and beat him? No. It's lights out and away we go. Bottas gets away well, as does Max Verstappen. He's losing out, it's Hamilton here. Bottas leads by Max Verstappen. Then comes Daniel Ricciardo, then Lando Norris. Bottas wins the sprint. Max Verstappen comes home to take second place. Hamilton started on the front row, comes home to finish fifth. He'll start on the second row. I'm trying to overtake the, the, the uh, McLarens, which is impossible for me, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be tough tomorrow. It's lights out and away we go. They weren't held for long. And Verstappen does get away well. Alongside him is Danny Ricciardo. And Ricciardo is inching into the lead. But Hamilton has got away well too. He's directly behind the championship rival. Indeed, he's alongside him. And Hamilton and Verstappen go into the second chain. And a chicane and Hamilton goes off onto the rumble strips. And it's forced wide and he might lose a place here. So Lando Norris takes the lead, Lewis Hamilton in second, then comes oh, Charles Leclerc and Sergio stop. Perez is Max Verstappen, what is happening? They'll be lucky if that's sub 10 seconds, no, 11 seconds on the grid for Max Verstappen. Norris was ahead of Hamilton, who's got past him on the road. This championship race has been blown wide open all again. Hamilton now does come into the pits, is a little bit slow as well, but not half as slow as it was for Max Verstappen. And there's Max Verstappen right behind Hamilton into the first chicane. Once again, it's wheel to wheel. Hamilton and Verstappen, oh. and this time Verstappen and Hamilton have crashed out, and they are both out. The two championship protagonists have taken each other out of the Italian Grand Prix. That's what you get when you don't leave the space. Switch off the engine, please, Lewis. Stop, stop, engine off. Max's car hit the rollover hoop of Lewis's car. Yeah. That's where the damage has come from. He hits the sausage curve as well. That's what throws him back into the path of Lewis and then up into the air uh, when his car makes contact with the Mercedes. As soon as I was next to him, uh, he just kept on squeezing me more and more to the left. Unfortunately, uh, he ran me a bit too much out of road. So then I clipped uh, the sausage curve and, and that's why we, we touched. Came out breaking into turn one, I, I made sure I left a car's whip on the outside and um, I was ahead going into the, uh, into the corner and next thing I know, 
guess Max went over the second curb or something like that. He obviously knew at that point he was going to make the corner and he drove into me. So, uh, and next thing you know, he's just on top of me. So, definitely unfortunate. And uh, we'll speak to the stewards after this, I'm sure. They have come to blows on more than one occasion. First time they've both taken each other out of the race. I think, you know, they're, they're racing for the biggest prize in the sport, so they know what's at stake. So, um, I think that, uh, you know, today, I think was, as I say, you can argue both sides. I think that Max earned, you know, the right to have more space. Um, so, uh, so, so, yeah, it's a racing incident. It's a track that's incredibly difficult to pass at. Um, so, obviously, disappointed, very disappointed to lose a car. You know, when you, when you see them turning in there and uh, Max jumping straight over the sausage curb into the car, the stewards will make a verdict and I'm going to be okay with the verdict. There's a lot of friction between the two, your two drivers at the moment. Yeah, it's clear they are, they are battling for the World Championship and uh, we've seen that in the past when it's so tight that uh, these things can happen. Yeah, I'm sure uh, we'll, uh, we'll talk about it. Hi Max, so obviously the big news is that you'll be taking on a new power unit for the rest of the weekend. Was that always the plan or did you have a look at the FP1 results and think it would be a better move? Uh, it's not only the results, I mean, I said before that we'll take everything into account also with the weather uh, for tomorrow, so we thought um, it would be best to, to take it here. Yeah. It will be a bit more difficult to come through, but we had to take the penalty anyway and, uh, you know, if, if we wouldn't have taken it here, we would have taken it somewhere else. So. We thought, okay, now we'll, uh, we'll decide to do it here and um, we'll try to make the best of it in, in the race. But who's got pace behind him? Lando Norris has got a middle sector to be proud of. Uh, Lewis Hamilton is not going to improve. Lando Norris is on pole! Hamilton's got his only himself to blame. He stuck it in the wall in the pits and that's cost him a good starting position because he didn't have two laps and couldn't get temperature. And it's lights out, away we go. And Sainz is getting a good slipstream. Hamilton trying to go down the inside into the first braking zone we go. And towards turn four we go now. And it's Sainz out in front for Ferrari. Lewis Hamilton is uh, now along just ahead of Daniel Ricciardo. Now Here Hamilton. comes Hamilton round turn three. As into turn four they go. Hamilton has got past Fernando Alonso. On board now with Max Verstappen. Is he going down the inside? Verstappen has cleared Valtteri Bottas. No! Verstappen was trying an opportunist move, but he has got ahead of Charles Leclerc. There's no front wing, okay? Yeah, I, I will check the front wing. Front wing is fine for now, Max. Hamilton did the pit. Karun take us through the pit stop. And Red Bull in the pits as well, Crofty. We've got Red Bull mechanics with a set of the medium tyres there. Hamilton is in and out as the Red Bull is getting service at the same time. It's a bit slower there for Max Verstappen. Into the first braking zone they go. At turn two, Hamilton makes the move. We'll see how Alonso got past Verstappen. And now we approach the part of the track where it is going to be at its wettest. You can see the rain signs there. These next oh. two corners are really critical. Lando Norris goes wide. What's going to win out? This is the part of the track where it's wet. Do you stay out in slicks? Do you stop for inters? What do you do? Well, people are going off. Box. Let's see what to do here. Box and pick and firm, Max. Box, pick and firm. So Verstappen has box pitted for Inters, so box, box. It's still raining, man. Lando, what do you think about the Inter? No! Now, is that the right decision or the wrong decision? Oh. Box, box, pick and firm. takes the lead of the race as Lando Norris slides off the track. Lewis Hamilton, it's a hundred race victories. He wins the Russian Grand Prix and he retakes the championship lead. So grateful for all of you, for all the work. 
back in the factory and here. Thanks so much for not giving up on me. Fantastic call on the rain tires. Thank you. Nicely done, Max. We'll take that. P2. Nice shot. Whoa, we definitely take that one. <laughs> okay, that was uh, the end. The good call. Just move on. Like, what's next? I'm still trying to fight for this championship and trying to stay in it, and it's uh, super close. And Toto Wolf has suggested you may take the engine penalty here. Uh, should it rain? Do you have any further information on that at all? I don't. At the moment, I still have engine two and three. So, I'm, in, for me, I'm fighting to just use those two and see how far they can take me. And there is the suggestion, should it rain, that Lewis Hamilton will take an engine penalty. Your thoughts on that, if he starts at the back of the grid? Well, I mean, I think they, they still have to, of course, take one engine, so it's up to them, of course, what they do with it. I mean, uh, we did it last, last race, and we'll find out when they take it. Can Max Verstappen make up some time on this lap? Still third, Max Verstappen. He's going to start behind one of the Mercedes. Valtteri Bottas takes the chequered flag and stays second, but that'll be good enough for pole position. As Hamilton crosses the line, he wins out in qualifying, but with a new internal combustion engine for the Turkish Grand Prix, he'll go back 10 places for the Sunday's grid. It's lights out, and away we go. Bottas in the second phase, but Verstappen is not coming alongside him. Lewis keeping out of trouble. And on the outside, first off, of Esteban Ocon and getting past Esteban Ocon. Hamilton is in a 10th place at the moment. Now here he goes, round the outside. Don't do it in a braking zone. Do it round the outside at turn three, Lewis Hamilton. He's put himself up in the seventh. Down the outside, should be a nice easy move here. He can pick his braking point, look at that. And now goes wheel to wheel with Sergio Perez. And does he pass Sergio Perez? Under braking, he gives the Red Bull a wide berth just in case. He knows that he can make this move stick in the next few corners. He pushes Sergio Perez almost into the pit lane entry. Perez is not going to give this one up without a fight. And they are almost level pegging as they start the next lap. Hamilton's got better acceleration as down towards turn one we go. Has Hamilton got up in the fourth place? No, he's not. Sergio Perez on the inside regains the place. Oh, that is sweet, isn't it, Crofty? That's <laughs> absolutely brilliant. Stop. Box, 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 box. Why? New inset is the way to go. I don't yeah. think it is, man. I personally think he has to stay out. Finishing just behind Max is much better than finishing just inside the top ten. Hamilton's coming in for a pit stop. Now he can get onto the racetrack and ahead then of Pierre Gasly, but down in fifth place. So Gasly at uh, three behind. Man, why did you give up that space? We were going to lose the position anyway. From pole position, Valtteri Bottas win the Turkish Grand Prix. So Max Verstappen comes home to finish second as he increases his championship lead over Lewis Hamilton. I mean, I've only just got out of the car, so uh, I don't have all the information. But I feel like I should have stayed out. My gut feeling was to stay, and I should have, I feel that's what I should have done. So frustrated in myself for not following my gut. Um, but I work as a team, so did the best I could with the advice I was getting. And a word on Valtteri Bottas, your teammate as well, who took the win. Yeah, good, good job. Great job. Uh, and, thanks. of course, uh, Max Verstappen has taken the lead back in that championship battle, too. A word yeah, on that. Yeah, we lost a few points today, so... Um, but that's the last life. Lewis Hamilton to cross the line to try and get provisional pole back again, and he does so. He's on provisional pole. This is going to be so close. Now, Verstappen has seven poles in the last ten races. Verstappen has snatched that pole position. It's the two championship protagonists, Verstappen and Hamilton, for the seventh time this season, lock out the front row. Five lights are on, it's lights out, away we go, Hamilton gets away well, and he's getting towards Max Verstappen, now Hamilton on the inside, pushes Max Verstappen wide! Hamilton leads from Verstappen, then comes Sergio Perez, and then the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. 
Max Verstappen is coming in then uh, for the undercut on Mercedes. Tyres getting hot. He's decided he doesn't want those hot tyres uh, for any longer. So let's put a set of hards. Our tyres go on uh, for Hamilton. His stationary time, 2.8 seconds. Max Verstappen now ahead of Hamilton. Can his Haas car please go out of the way? Get up to Michael. Three and a half miles to go. Hamilton has now got DRS, but crucially, so has Verstappen, because he was lapping Mick Schumacher. Yes. Verstappen is going to lead and double his advantage in the World Championship. Max Verstappen wins the US Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton has to settle for second. What a drive. Masterful. Oh, yes, guys. Unbelievable. <laughs> Sheer class, Max. That was classy. What a drive. Max, five races to go. How much confidence does this win give you? Well, I mean, uh, this doesn't really change a lot uh, because it's uh, all about details. I always say it. So a win for me doesn't give me more confidence or whatever. We, we are all confident within the team that we can do a really good job. But we really need to nail the details and um, we have to start over again in Mexico, you know, to try and uh, get the best out of our whole package. It's lights out and away we go here. And Bottas and Hamilton getting away ahead of Verstappen and Perez. And the wheel to wheel, the Mercedes. But what's happening behind? Perez pulls to the inside, Verstappen to the outside. They're three abreast at the moment and there's three abreast behind them. Into two more we go. Verstappen is into the lead ahead of Hamilton. Bottas gets tagged. Max Verstappen leads them over the line, comfortably ahead of Lewis Hamilton. It's a double pit stop, plan for Lewis Hamilton. That was a clean stop from Mercedes. This is key for Lewis. It's key and it's not gone his way. This needs to be perfect by the Red Bull boys. Front tyres off, front tyres on. Little tweak of the front wing, absolutely. Sweet. Perez with DRS advantage, he's going to come down to the last lap. Lewis is not going to make a mistake from here. And there we go, there, is that the lunge? Max Verstappen crosses the line, a long, long way clear of the rest. As Hamilton finishes second. Yes! What a race. <laughs> oh, that was great, guys. Unbelievable pace in the car. I feel positive in the sense that I, I, I had a good race. Didn't make a mistake at the start. Obviously I was on the inside, so I couldn't break as late as the guys that are obviously on the clean line. And then to keep Sergio behind was obviously in a much faster car this weekend. When you've got Sergio up behind you, pushing you like that, you know the car is fast. <laughs> Today we were a, lot, a long way off, so I, I don't really understand that. But uh, we'll, we'll go back to the drawing board and try and come back next week stronger. Bottas has set a personal best in the first sector. Uh, it's the middle sector that we'll be watching with interest to see if he can get above Max Verstappen. Hamilton will cross the line now. He goes faster still, and the crowd absolutely love it. Hamilton on top in qualifying here at Interlagos. And Bottas didn't quite make the front row. That's a relief for Max Verstappen and Red Bull. It's been a, you know, we're working so hard to try and get this car right, and, and um, it's been a real, it's been, it's been tough. And so to finally get the car feeling like it did today feels great. It's just a, just a testament to all the great work that everyone's doing in the, in the garage and also back home, just all the work that's going back home to try and pull out everything we can from the car. Of course, the last two poles I've had, I've had a penalty. So a uh, bit unfortunate to, to have the penalty tomorrow, but it is what it is and, and uh, I'll try and fight back from that. When did you find out you were taking that penalty? Uh, I think it was yesterday, yeah. Um, I think right to the last minute they'll try and know trying to say no we, we've got to make the decision and we should be able to make it to the end or so it was it was a decision that the team took and I, I trust obviously their their um their judgment were you surprised by the pace of lewis not necessarily i mean they took a new engine so we know of course uh, the first weekend they can definitely put a bit more power in it and around here you know that's yeah, that can make quite a bit of a difference with such a little corner so um nothing shocking of course i would have preferred to be ahead but all in all you know to be second is good do you think you've rattled them Red Bull, do you think you've rattled Red Bull a little? No. No. I mean, he's signed Paul, I'm nowhere near him, so I don't think so. And we've got some breaking news. Lewis Hamilton has been disqualified. Lewis Hamilton's DRS, the drag reduction system, opened up. Everything seemed fine. He set pole position in qualifying, got to the end of the lap, and then at the end of the session, 
There was a bit of suspicion from Red Bull. When the car is running, we will use this. The DRS is fully open. If it's legal or not. The ball is 85 mil. If it passes through, it'll be an illegal wing. Because if it doesn't, if it stops, and we're running a legal wing, we can run it for the race weekend. And that rear wing opening works just fine at one point of the Mercedes rear wing, but not at the other. So it was very marginally illegal. Max touching that rear wing gave Mercedes an argument that actually perhaps the touching of that rear wing was what made it illegal in the first place. Right, and Max Verstappen has picked himself up a £50,000 Euro fine. Normally disqualification from the qualifying session means you'll either start from the pit lane or the back of the grid. But this is a sprint weekend. He can start the race but will have to do it from the back in the sprint. Keep the energy and your focus on the one thing that matters most. All that other stuff does not matter. And it's lights out and away we go. Bottas is away and into the lead. Into turn one goes Valtteri Bottas ahead of Verstappen. But so is Carlos Sainz also on those soft tyres and Verstappen goes wide. Here comes Max Verstappen looking to make a move. So that is a move that he makes with great aplomb. Here goes Hamilton on Sonoda. This is a battle for 13th place. Hamilton's made it. Now watching Hamilton on the main straight with DRS. I think into turn one, Lewis Hamilton has got past Fernando Alonso. Look how he's almost pushing the McLaren. The wheel to wheel at the moment. Hamilton on lap 13 finally gets ahead of Daniel Ricciardo. Powers past the Alpha Tauri. That is a very good sight for fans of Lewis Hamilton. And he's going to try and make that lunge, and he does make that lunge down the inside, Lewis Hamilton. The crowd absolutely love that. Bottas is going to pick up pole position for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Verstappen, the championship leader, extends his championship lead. And that is a mega sprint drive from Lewis Hamilton. Great work, Lewis. Lewis, brilliant job. Damage limitation. The more. Copy. It's not over yet. The car was really great, and, and I think it really was just men the mental state of mind that I went in uh, was really just, you know, never give up, keep pushing, still arise, you can do this, you know, just like trying to turn the, because it was really difficult to get the, to swallow the, the result that we got. In the race, he still got that five place penalty on the grid that's set by the sprint for the V6 engine change. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, now I've got to start focusing on tomorrow, and uh, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> and we're ready, and we are set. Just stay positive, know that you're making a difference, and, and don't, don't stop until the job is done. Out the way we go, Bottas gets away well ahead of Verstappen, but Verstappen is coming back at him. Verstappen takes the lead. He squeezed out Valtteri Bottas going through turn two. Hamilton is up to seven. Passing there, Pierre Gasly. Full blast on and he is gaining, gaining, gaining in the slipstream of Carlos Sainz. Pulls over to the inside and Hamilton, if he is to win this race, has half the arrears that he needs to. Invert the cars in turn one. I want to drive like that. I want to be able to be aggressive like that. He's trying to go down the outside. Is he going to sweep through? Can he keep it on the road? He can. He's, He's now DRS to try and fight his way back. They're going to go wheel to wheel into Cedar de Lago and Sergio Perez repasses Lewis Hamilton. To the left, to the right. It's going to be to the right. It's going to be round the outsides. And the crowd cheer as Lewis Hamilton passes Sergio Perez. Here comes Hamilton on Max Verstappen. Down towards turn one. Verstappen moved. Hamilton will get another help of the DRS down this back straight. Here goes Lewis Hamilton. He was last at the start of the sprint. He's trying to take the lead from Verstappen, but he is forced wide by Verstappen, and Verstappen himself has to go off the track. No investigation necessary for running you off track. Of course, man. Of course. Michael, that is all about letting them race. Be 
able to be in control, and that's what I put my mind to. Even if you don't succeed at first, just keep trying. And he's got a better exit. Hamilton with a much better exit down to turn four. Hamilton pulls ahead of Verstappen. The crowd go absolutely wild. He has gone from last all the way to first. Lewis Hamilton, against the odds, has come home to win the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Woo! Yes! Come on, guys. Let's keep pushing. No limitation thought process of dreaming. I wanted to be Superman, an astronaut, and at the time, Merton Senna. Hey, and that's great opening phase to the race and then just didn't quite have the car told off Lewis. Frustrated or happy with good point? No, I mean, I knew it was going to be difficult, but I, I tried everything I could and I think we had some good battles. Uh, but yeah, clearly we were just lacking a bit today. Uh, also, just uh, top speed wise was really tough to defend. Um, yeah, you could clearly see when they take a fresh engine, you know, it gives them a bit more power. So hopefully uh, now in the coming races that will die down slowly. Um, but at least it was fun, you know, of course, I would have liked to win, but uh, realistically, I think this was a, a good result. Multiple close moments in that race, no contact though. You must be pleased with how this championship's kind of evolving in that kind of fight. Yeah, I think it was good. Hard racing, but good racing, and that's how it should be. And too much uh, getting in their way. Pierre Gasly has got a puncture. This is going to ruin the laps then of those behind Lewis Hamilton who got out early. Verstappen's not going to improve on his time either. This is going to be a Lewis Hamilton pole position. How are you feeling about today's race? I know you saw the stewards this morning and we're still waiting on a decision. Yeah, of course, uh, we have to wait and see what comes out of that. But uh, nonetheless, I mean, we're just going to try to have a good race and uh, have a bit of fun out there. Lights out, and away we go, and it's a good start for Hamilton. Max Verstappen on the inside has made a brilliant start, but then goes off the track as Fernando Alonso closes the door on him. Verstappen still trying to battle away with Lando Norris. Gasly's gone, gone very wide there. Verstappen started seventh, and now on lap four, he's up into the podium places. I don't think Fernando will get silly. He won't be giving this place up easily, but I don't think he's going to fight too hard. He's not really got the pace to fight it too hard. Back-to-back -back victories for Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton on top in Qatar. Max Verstappen, though, limiting the damage. Started seventh. Will come home to finish second. You'll see this result as a bit of damage limitation. Absolutely. I mean, overall, we're still lacking pace also in, in the race. But uh, yeah, of course, very happy with uh, with this result. Hamilton crosses the line. He is a tenth and a half up, and he is on provisional pole. This is it for Verstappen. Oh, is he? Did he touch the wall? That's the fastest first sector time. Whoa, he's leaving no margin out there at all. Up against the wall. But Verstappen, Hamilton, who's going to take pole position here? But Verstappen can spoil the Mercedes party and ruin oh, that no. one too as he hits the wall. <laughs> Up and I still tried to, of course, keep the car on the track, try to finish the lap, but clip the rear and I uh, had to stop. But uh, yeah, P3 is, uh, is a bit disappointing, of course, today knowing what lap I was on. But um, nevertheless, it's, it shows that the car is quick and um, let's see what we, what we can do in the race. As it slides down the way we go, Bottas gets a decent start, as does Hamilton. Verstappen can't dive down the inside. Hamilton takes the lead into the first corner from Valtteri Bottas. It's Hamilton from Bottas, from Verstappen, then the Ferrari of Leclerc. Mick Schumacher into the barrier. We've got our first safety car. Uh, Valtteri driving massively off the pace. I agree. It's a that shouldn't be allowed, what he does. Verstappen stays out and takes the lead of this race. Hamilton and Bottas pit. They're now red flagging the race. Because the one thing you can do when the race is suspended and it's red flagged, you can make your tire change. It's lights out and away we go. Hamilton's got a better start and Hamilton goes into the first corner as Bottas locks up, almost hits for Stafford who goes off the track and then forces Hamilton wide as Esteban Ocon gets ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Across the whole curve. And that's 
Sergio Perez, who's been tagged, and there's another incident, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if we get a second safety car. Hi, Michael. Hi. I'm going to give you the opportunity to start from grid position two for this. We would accept P2 on the basis that Ocon's on pole, correct? We would drop you back behind Hamilton. I understood. That, that is my offer. So that would put Esteban on one, Lewis two, Max three. Obviously, if they choose not to accept that, then I will refer that to the stewards. Uh, yeah, we'll accept that. We understand the order will be Ocon, Hamilton, Verstappen. That is correct, okay. As the lights on, lights out, and away we go. And Ocon ahead of Hamilton. But Verstappen's going to go down the inside. There's three of them and Hamilton. And Ocon touch. Verstappen now ahead of Lewis Hamilton. And Verstappen takes the lead of the race. And Lewis Hamilton pulls out to the left-hand side and gets past Esteban Ocon. He had the pace. That was easy. He is gaining, and he is gaining, and he is gaining on Max Verstappen. Lewis Hamilton trying to get into the lead of the race. They go wheel to wheel into the first corner. Verstappen has to bail out. Lewis Hamilton has to bail out. Verstappen ends that sequence with a bigger lead over Lewis Hamilton. That is pretty crazy. So let's give the position back to Hamilton to do that strategically. Both are giving it absolutely everything. I get the feeling it's going to happen again. Oh, oh they've touched and they've collided. What has happened there? Just break testing me. I've just hit him, man. My wing's broken. No, it's okay. It looks okay. It's told to give you the position. You just break testing me. It's just dangerous driving, dude. Max left a lot of space to the inside, but then he accelerated immediately away from it again, didn't he? I've instructed them to get the place back. Verstappen clearly slowing down. This yeah. is the DRS zone. Max Verstappen, after letting Lewis pass, retakes the leads of the race. Max Verstappen has a five-second time penalty for leaving the track and gaining an advantage. Maybe let me through. Hamilton and Verstappen going for it again, and Hamilton has now got past Verstappen. Hamilton is going to give us level pegging in the championship to win the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Get in there, Lewis. Great job, guys. Great job. That's more like it. Come on, let's keep pushing, man. It is what it is, mate. <laughs> I tried at least. Yeah, good effort, Max. I don't know why you'd run out the back of you like that. Made no sense at all. Test, test, test. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> okay, so uh, confusing. Um, you know, third and first, standing first, drop to third, third to first, five second penalty, second, finish second, uh, touches. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, I I don't agree with the, all the decisions, but I also don't want to talk about it too much because I I don't think we. You know, need to need to talk about it. They don't deserve any mentions. Um, and of course, I break late, and um, I think I I got a little bit off line at one point, I guess, and I had a moment, so I went wide. But he also didn't make the corner, so yeah, we both basically missed the corner. And I I don't think it's fair to then just say that I get a penalty. But yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. So then at one point they told me I had to give the position back. So then that was I think just before 22. So then after 22, 23, I, I went to drive to the right side and I slowed down and I was braking, downshifting, and he just stayed super close behind me. And um, I don't really understand why. I was just trying to let him by. And then um, I'm just going slower and slower, pulling the downshift. And then we had a, oh, I don't know, a miscommunication or whatever. And he ran into the back of me. Um, and uh, yeah, that was it. At this point, the, obviously I knew that Max had uh, overtaken two of us by going over the uh, over turn two, which at the beginning of the race we're told that wasn't allowed. And, um, but I hadn't yet had the information yet of that, that he would be backing off. So all of a sudden he, um, he started slowing down into, uh, into 27 where the DRS uh, zone is. And um, 
but it, it wasn't quite clear for me. It was a bit confusing. And, and then all of a sudden, he slowed down a real, at a rapid pace. And that's when I had to avoid uh, going completely up the backside of him. And um, yeah, so I, I felt grateful that I obviously didn't take us both out. For me, you know, I need to I need to be finishing both races and get all these points, and uh, it's obviously um, tough to do so with these circumstances. But um, yeah, I managed to keep the car in one piece. Thank you very much, guys. You've got to get to the stewards, so we'll have to leave it there. Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen, our world title protagonists. The World Drivers' Championship trophy sits between you. Lewis, if you win on Sunday, it will be your record-breaking eighth title. Max, if you win, it will be your first. After last year, I didn't have a lot of hope that we would be sitting here, you know, end of, end of the season fighting for a title, but I think from the start, we, you know, we were very competitive and uh, yeah, we had some good results, a bit of bad luck as well. But overall, you know, we can be really proud, you know, of the whole whole team effort, you know, to be to be sitting here and, and fighting for this title. I'm here to do the best job I can with this incredible team. And going back to again, just we never thought that we would be neck and neck going into the last race. We've had an amazing recovery uh, collectively as a team and um, we've We've been in a great position these last few races, so we go full steam ahead with that same focus, um, and we don't waste energy on, again, things that we that are out of our control. Going into this last race, do you change your approach at all? No, a lot of training these past these past days, good recovery, and yeah, just excited to get in the car. For us, I think to be in this position already is is amazing. You know, especially after last year where they were so dominant and. Um, I'm just happy, you know, to be here and, and just look back at the season already. We had an amazing year anyway, but of course now we are here as a team. We, we want to finish it off in style. Will you do anything different when you go wheel to wheel with Max? No. Continue to do what I do. Will it be extra satisfying given how stressful this year has been? To win? Yeah. It doesn't matter in what way. As long, you know, we win. That's the most important. pulled out of the way there did slipstream Verstappen down the straight yeah. towards turn nine so he's two tenths up on Hamilton through the middle sector Verstappen crosses the line 122 one is that good enough to take provisional pole the track is ramping up it's getting quicker but is it getting quick enough for Lewis Hamilton crosses the line he's not on pole in 2021 Max Verstappen he's on pole oh yes Amazing job, guys. <laughs> well done, mate. Great teamwork. Great teamwork. Well done. Good job. Do you think that does give you the advantage going into tomorrow, starting on that medium tyre, a bit more duration in it? Time will tell, man. Um, their long run pace was very, very strong. So keeping up with him will not be easy. But if they have the deck that we think that the soft can have, then we might be in a good place. You've been here before a number of times for the World Championship. What do you do tonight? What's your plan? How do you prepare? How do you go to sleep? Same as every every race night. So just uh, tonight I'll be here. I'll be just studying. I'll be focusing on um, looking at past videos and just preparing in the best way. So when I come here tomorrow, I'm already uh, clued up on all the strategy and everything that I need to do. And then there's work to do tomorrow and um, I'll get a good night's sleep tonight. Absolutely incredible. Tell me, uh, you're starting today on soft, but I mean, you must be having the confidence after yesterday's lap, right? Yeah, I mean, we're feeling good. Uh, let's see what uh, what the tyres will do in the race, but we're confident that, you know, the tyres will, will be decent. So a lot of things, you know, can happen throughout the race with strategy as well. But uh, yeah, at least it's, it's the right tyre for, for the start. Probably the first time in seven years where you woke up thinking, I might be champion today. How important is the start? Uh, yeah, start is important, but also the rest of the race, you know, a lot of, of things can happen and I really expect a tight, tight battle, but um, yeah, looking forward to it.
Lewis, if you win on Sunday, it will be your record-breaking eighth title. Max, if you win, it will be your first. Staying positive, focused. I think the most important is to be yourself. Know that there's nothing you can't achieve. You always have to remember what you do it for, and that is for me, just try to win races. You have to believe in yourself. I always wanted to be myself. I'll be given everything. We've been waiting for this all season long. The finale, the title decider, under the lights here in Abu Dhabi. Down away we go. Hamilton gets a decent start and he's already ahead of Max Verstappen. Hamilton leads into the first corner. Red oh, on there, Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton almost coming together. Hamilton has to go off the track. The Dutch fans roaring in the background. Lewis Hamilton in the lead, but will he have to give out the place? Yes, he gets that back. No investigation necessary, say the stewards. Max Verstappen about to make what should be his one and only pit stop of this race. Sergio Perez will stay out and will go on to take the lead of this race. <laughs> okay, we'll be looking to hold on, Lewis. Perez will have a lunge up the inside, inevitably. Uh, can Perez make it into turn nine? He saved up a bit of energy from that battery store past Lewis Hamilton. So he is going to hold him up just that little extra bit as they make their way around the final two turns. Hamilton's going to try and get Perez into turn one and have to go the long way around the outside to do it and can't quite do it. You can see him right in the background. Hamilton needs to get past Perez here. He does get past Perez. He moves towards the inside. Hamilton does get past Perez. Give his teammate a bit of DRS for good measure. So great team play. That's the team play we talked about earlier on. Now he gets clean out of the way. Oh, Checo is a legend. Absolute animal. Hydraulic issue then. For Antonio Giovinazzi, could we get a safety car here? I see no option but to put out a virtual safety car there. Verstappen's coming in, I think. Box and pick confirm, please, Max. So Hamilton continues to lead from Verstappen, uh, but Verstappen's now got a brand new set of the hard compound tyre on. Michael, please, no safety car interferes in the race, please not. And that's Toto Wolff saying, don't give us a safety car and close the pack up, especially now Max Verstappen's pitted on and he's on fresher tyres. Christian Horner on that Red Bull pit wall. The pace of the Mercedes is just too strong today, so we, yeah, Max is driving his heart down there, but uh, we're going to need a miracle in these last uh, 10 laps to, to turn it around. He'll give it everything, but um, the clock's ticking. What would you do if one of your kids says, I'm going to be a Formula One racer? Formula One is very far away, and you never know what happens after no. 15 years. I really will help them whatever he wants to play. Force me off, so. Copy, copy. Oh no, Nicholas Latifi, that will be a safety car. Verstappen coming into the pits. There's a set of soft tyres waiting for him. Safety car, safety car. Shh. Strap on box. Negative. Is he right behind me? He will be. With new tyres. And copy loose. How many cars are behind me and in between us? Uh, five cars between you. How many laps left? Be three when you cross the line. Uh, these back markers need to get out of the way. And lapped cars will not be allowed to overtake. They're not going to overtake, actually. So we believe they may restart the race like this. Lap cars will not be allowed to overtake. Yeah, of course. Typical decision. It's classic. Oh, uh, that's surprise. <laughs> Why aren't we getting these lap cars out of the way? Just give me a second. My main big one is to get this uh, incident clear. Lapped cars 
to overtake the safety car. So he's now going to let the car through. This is going to be manipulated, man. And we'll it's ending. It. And it's, it's ending. Wow. Mikey, this isn't right. Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen side by side. We're going to have one lap of racing to decide the championship. Hamilton has the advantage. Verstappen, the faster tyres. 3.2 miles of racing action all the way to the chequered flag. Hamilton sees it coming. It's a late lunch by Verstappen. <laughs> Verstappen now snatches the championship trophy from Lewis Hamilton. No, Mikey, no, no, Mikey. That was so not right. Who's trying to fight back? Lewis Hamilton will not get the rear wing open. He's now he's going to go down the outside. <laughs> If Verstappen keeps it tight and knee, but he hasn't, he's gone a little bit wide. Here comes Lewis Hamilton, though, down the back straight. He's got a slipstream. He almost touches Verstappen. championship battle but the championship can only be won by one and it's going Dutch in 2021 Max Verstappen for the first time ever is champion of the world oh my lord Max oh my god yes oh my god yes oh my god Max Verstappen you are the world champion! The world champion! Mikey, <laughs> what was that? Go ahead, Toto. You need to reinstate the lap before. That's not right. Toto? Yes. It's called a motor race, okay? Sorry? We went to car racing. A big congratulations to Max and to his team. Um, I think we did an amazing job uh, this year. Uh, my, my team, everyone back at the factory, all the men and women we have, have and, and here worked so hard of this whole year. It's been uh, the, the most difficult of seasons and um, I'm so proud of them, so grateful to be a part of the journey with them. And uh, yeah, we gave it everything. These, uh, these, this last part of the season, we gave it absolutely everything and uh, we never gave up and that's the most important thing. It just means a lot. I mean, it's my life. You know, once you achieve your life goal, your life mission, it's just something truly incredible, but also not only for me, but for my whole family, because they also had to live for me. All of this now, it just rest. This hasn't been for nothing. And that's something I, which is very special. You know, I need to be back in that mindset for, for next year where I'll try to defend uh, the title. But also a thing I'm looking forward to is, uh, is to drive around with number one. You will take the number one? Yes.